besties, welcome or welcome back. Let's get started. For this DIY, I've got this cute little house. I've got some twine and this vinyl bag from the Dollar Tree, by the way, except for the paint. And heat up that little tag so that you can just scrape it right off. With my heat tool from Amazon, you can find that in my Amazon store. The link is always listed down in my description box. I'm gonna sand off where the tag was, and then I'm gonna paint the entire sign with that white from Rust-Oleum. Once I have the entire house painted, I'm gonna take my bag and I'm gonna cut out three different hearts that I like. And I left the little clothespin piece that was on there, but I end up only keeping it on one of them. And I'm gonna lay down some Mod Podge on the back of the house. This is gonna be a two-sided house. I'm gonna take the red heart with the XOXO and the clothespin on it, and I'm just going to Mod Podge that right on. And then I'll add some more of, of course, the Mod Podge right on top. I'm gonna add some Mod Podge on the back as well, which is really the front. And I'm gonna add two of the little hearts. I did cut off that little clothespin on those. And I'm just gonna kind of position them in there the way I think looks cute. I just love doing two-sided things. You just get so much more out of it. So when you're walking around, you'll be listening. I'm gonna lay down some Mod Podge on top of these hearts as well. I'm gonna take a real mini clothespin and I'm gonna put some hot glue and put it right over that little fake one. And that'll be nice. You can put a picture there or a note or whatever you want. It'll just be a nice little place to put something. And there's a hole in the clothespin you can see and I kinda made my little piece of twine to a point with some glue and I'm just gonna hot glue it right on the edge there. I'm gonna do it to both sides. So that way it looks like it's hanging on a little clothesline. And then I'm just gonna take a scissors and cut off those edges. I didn't want it on both sides, just on the one. Now I felt like it needed something more, so I'm gonna use this bright red paint from Folk Art, and I'm just going to paint that very top ridge on the front. I decided to just do a teeny bit of distressing with the steel Waverly chalk paint, just the teeniest bit. I didn't want it to look really old, but I just wanted to give it a little bit of character. You absolutely do not have to do this if you prefer not to. And that's it, I really like this one. You can just stand it up wherever you want, even a tear tray, it's so cute. a lot of Dollar Tree supplies today. This heart with the tinsel all around it came from the Dollar Tree, so did this mop head, and these ranunculus, I never say that right, flowers. And then this is from the Target Dollar Spot. It's just a garland for $3. I love grabbing those when I see them. And these four pieces of round wood are from Hobby Lobby, and I'm gonna use some Mod Podge too. I'm gonna pull off all of this tinsel. You just cut it at one spot and then you start unrolling it. It's got these little ridges. You can see what I'm gonna show you now. And it just kind of goes in and around and you go back and forth till it comes off. There was a couple longer ones, so I just snipped those off because they would be in the way. First thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit of hot glue right in that center of the heart and put down my first strand of the mop head. I'm gonna wrap it around twice between each little piece that sticks out. And when I get to the piece that sticks out, I'm gonna add a dot of hot glue and then hold it for a second and then wrap again twice between each one. And then a dot of hot glue on the little piece that sticks out and just keep going all the way around. And it takes, I guess it took me probably like 10 pieces of the mop head roughly and we'll get to the end and I just had a little more to go so I've got to add one more little mop head piece. I always add on the back so you don't see it. And then I'm just gonna get that to that very center point again, snip off a little bit and hot glue it down. And that's all there is to wrapping it and it looks really pretty wrapping around those little knobby pieces. I love that look. I'm gonna take my four round pieces of wood and on each side I'm gonna paint them with the rust linen white chalk paint. Then I'm gonna take my ballet slipper, Waverly chalk paint and do around the sides. Once that's done, I'm gonna paint two X's and two O's and we're doing the kiss hug, kiss hug. Forever, 
Now I'm gonna take some hot glue and I'm just gonna gently glue each of those little wood slices to each other and to the outside of the heart. But then I'm gonna take some popsicle sticks, the very smallest ones, and I'm gonna cut pieces so that they can support those little pieces of wood. I don't wanna take any chances because the wreath form is so light and the little wood pieces are much heavier than it is. And then I'm also gonna add a little teeny piece of the popsicle stick to each of the outsides of the rounds and then I'll paint those white as well. To the beat of your heart, I'm, really I'm gonna take little pieces of that wreath from Target and I'm just gonna cut them up and hot glue them to that upper right curve of the heart. Then I'm gonna take the ranunculus and I'm gonna cut them all the way down till it's almost flat on the back. Put a generous amount of hot glue and just place them wherever I want. I'm gonna use five of those. Once that's done, I'm gonna add a few more leaves here and there to fill in any holes. And then I'll just arrange a few leaves where I want them. Now I'm gonna take the Mod Podge and cover the letters and that's it. So easy and I think this one came out so pretty. Let me know what you think. Today's video is part of an open collaboration for Valentine's Day. It's a challenge. We had to use items from Dollar Tree. Our hosts are Crafting in Mimi's World, DIY from House to Home, and I'm guest hosting. I know you will really love these ladies. There'll be a playlist in my description box and in my pinned comment. Please check it out. Also, welcome if you are coming over from one of their channels. One of the things I love about Dollar Tree signs is that they don't have to be for the season that they were made in. You can use this kind of wood round as many times and for any season as you want. So I'm gonna take off the hanger, and I'm gonna take off the sticker. The back has now become the front. I'm just gonna heat that up. Then I'm gonna put some masking tape over the hole that's on the front of the sign, and I'm gonna pull off that little straw bow, and I'm gonna fill in the holes with some hot glue. I mean, you can use wood filler, of course, but I just do this little trick where I do hot glue, I let it sink in, I add a little more, and then I just sand it down, and it actually works just fine, and by putting the tape on the back, it stops it from sticking to the thing that it's laying on top of. I'm gonna take a little ruler, I'm gonna measure about an inch and a half down, and I'm gonna lay down masking tape because I'm gonna be painting stripes. So I'm gonna do that all the way down the round. We'll always be fighters. Hold... And there you go. I'm gonna take the white paint, I'm gonna paint in between all of the pieces of tape. And if you notice when I'm by the tape, I'm always going upward or downward from it. I never paint back and forth over it. I don't want any bleeding. And look at that, it came out really nice. I'm gonna take my Waverly Ballet Slipper chalk paint and I'm gonna very carefully paint in between and it's okay that they don't touch perfectly because I've got a piece of gold vinyl and I'm in my cutter. I'm just gonna cut little thin strips. If you have gold washi tape, you could use that too. That would be very nice to use. I didn't have any. And another thing, you don't have to use like a Cricut vinyl for this. They sell different kinds of vinyl at Dollar Tree. And now I'm just gonna lay them down and turn it over and I'm gonna slice off the very edges. Just trim that right off. I've got this gold chalk writer from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna go all around the edges to cover up that MDF look. And I did use my Cricut to cut out the word love, but you can use stickers or draw that with your with free hand if you want. I'm gonna cover the entire thing with Mod Podge to seal it. And then I've got the ranunculus again. And what I'm gonna do with those is attach some kind of on the left side more of the top. Because my word love is diagonal, I thought that would look really cute. And this is so, so pretty. I just love the way this looks. I finished the back with craft paper and a hanger and that's it. If you've been around a while, you know I love making little cutting boards and I've been trying to make one for every season. I've got this set of two mini cutting boards from the Target dollar spot. It was like $5 for two. They're very nice. And then I've got a Dollar Tree ribbon. I'm only gonna use one for this project. I've been out on the streets where the lights are red. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is just sand the edges. They were a teeny bit rough, not much. I'm gonna take some more masking tape and I'm just gonna tape off a little bit so I have the top separated and I'm gonna make an area for the bottom. I'm gonna do up at the top. And again, when I'm by the tape, I paint away from it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for a little portion of the bottom. I just love the way that looks. I'm gonna leave some of the wood grain cause it's so nice. And look at that, so satisfying pulling off the tape. 
I'm gonna Mod Podge over the whole front of this little mini cutting board. It's not gonna be used for food, so it's more of a decorative piece. I found these little hearts at the Dollar Tree. They came in a little package. You have like a little plastic piece on the back and you pull it off and then it's like a sticker. So I just arranged them any way I wanted and then I'm gonna put some more Mod Podge over the top. I'm gonna take my Dollar Tree ribbon. I'm gonna make like an awareness bow and then I'm gonna wrap a piece of Mod Pad around the middle. I'm just gonna make a little bow that goes right in the top of that cutting board on the handle. And that's all there is to this one. It's super easy, very cute, and very festive. You'll have to let me know what you think. I've made many little book stacks out of these crates from the Dollar Tree. This is not exactly a book stack, but it's gonna have words on it. I'm going to use this lipstick red paint from Folk Art. I'm just gonna paint that middle stripe on both sides. I didn't tape it off because it's got a nice edge you can work with. That way you can be careful not to get any in and I'm using a very small art brush. So I did that to both sides. And then I'm gonna paint the whole entire rest of it with the steel from Waverly chalk paint. I thought that was a really pretty combination and I wasn't gonna do a wood look. And then I take my white and I just go in between the red and the silver. And there it is. Use my Cricut to cut out Love Never Fails. I love that, it's in the scriptures. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on. I made the middle word never with silver vinyl and then I did black on the other two words. You can use stickers, you can use a pen if you have nice writing. You could also trace using something that you got off the computer. Anyway, this was very easy and you definitely don't need a Cricut to do it. I think it comes out super cute. I've also got these little red sparkly hearts in different sizes, so I just glued them with my Beacon Fabric Tac glue to the very top, and that's it. Again, another super easy, fun Valentine decor. This would definitely fit on a tear tray as well. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to go down to my description box and click on the playlist link. There are gonna be so many talented creators on this playlist. You're going to wanna to watch it and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Hey, craft along if you can. I think you'll love it. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you are a blessing to me. Go ahead and click on this video on the screen. I think you'll really like it. And if you do, I will see you there. Bye.